Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to our webinar uh, with the topic Trading with Fractals. So this is, uh, I should say that this is a webinar mainly for beginners. Just to clarify this before we start. I, as usual, I would really appreciate the quick feedback regarding the audio, the, the slides. Uh, just to remind you that I have also uploaded the slides, I mean the, the PDF version of this webinar, just to have uh, all the, all the uh, info in, uh, in, the, in the PDF ver version so you can study them yourself. Thank you for uh, for the feedback, Mario. Thank you very much. So we are good to go. As usual, this webinar is being recorded, so don't worry if you cannot you cannot stay uh, for until the very end. You're gonna receive a recording in your inbox. So let's uh, let me read out loud the disclaimer. This material provides general marketing communication for information purposes only and does not constitute an independent investment research. Nothing in this communication contains or should be considered as containing an investment advice or an investment recommendation or a solicitation for the purpose of buying or selling of any financial instrument. Uh, all information provided, provided in, is gathered from reputable sources and any information containing an indication of past performance is not a guarantee or reliable indica indicator of future performance. Users acknowledge that any investment leveraged products is characterized by a certain degree of uncertainty and that any investment of this nature involves a high level of risk, which the users are so responsible and liable. We assume no liability for any loss arising from any investment made based on the information provided in this communication. This communication must not be reproduced or further distributed without our prior written permission. Risk warning, trading leveraged products such as forex and derivatives may not be suitable for all investors as they carry a high degree of risk to your capital. Please ensure that you fully understand the risk involved, taking into account your investment objectives and level of experience before trading, and if necessary, seek independent advice. Please read the full uh, disclosure in our website. So, uh, Joseph, you cannot open the PDF. So can you, you can download it, but you cannot open it. Can you be a bit more specific, please, just to, uh, just for me to find out uh, what's wrong with it. Okay, thank you. So reminder, webinars at hfm.com is our email address. Feel free to ask anything you want. It might not be only for webinars, it might be for a strategy that you are following, it might be for something that you did wrong and you want us to investigate further, what went wrong, why it went wrong, etc. Anything you need, we are here to help. <clears throat> so, we are good to go. Just uh, don't know how many of you are, so I, can op I can't open or download it. So did you find the handout section? You found it, but when, once you click on it, it, it doesn't... Are you sure? First of all, did you manage to find, find the handout section in which uh, the PDF uh, has been uh, downloaded? Try to see. You know what? I could... Let me know, and I have another way to uh send it to you but let uh, i download the material fine too rodero is saying okay i don't know it might be joseph's side it might be his uh, some uh, some with his uh, uh the virus uh, or something that maybe something is blocking him blocking the pdf from his side i don't know but uh, please let me know regarding um actually okay there is another way uh not the preferable one but since you're struggling with it i'm gonna try <clears throat> i'm gonna send it to everyone 
this is a transfer link so please download it from uh, here if you're struggling with uh, with the th with the go to webinar so let's move on that's me um, you're welcome Joseph my pleasure that's me I don't know how many people are new here my name is Andrea uh, I've been here since 2016 so um, as I keep saying my mission is to help so I'm doing my best anything you need uh, just name it okay Okay, let's move on. It's a very straightforward topic, very easy, busy indicator. And so I think I think after the, the this webinar, you will feel confident enough to try them at least in a demo account. So what we're gonna cover is we're gonna see first of all some a bit of a background determination of what a fractal is. Uh, some of its characteristics and obviously how you can apply it and use it. There are some rules also that we're going to see for fractals. There are some rules that you need to follow in order to properly apply them, in order to properly uh, find out what they are, uh, what signal, what, indi what they indicate for you, okay? some advantages, disadvantages, and so on and so forth. Feel free to ask anything you want in the meantime. So, trading with fractals. First of all, in general, okay, in general, uh, since I am a mathematician, okay, my, my uh, master degree, one of my master degrees, my bachelor was uh, uh, was in uh, was in mathematics and physics, so I cannot just I cannot just explain fractals without um, properly present you guys the chaos uh, theory because this is where fractals are based on the chaos theory. So it's not that we have fractals only financial market no no we they are everywhere they're everywhere fractals is a pattern okay it's a pattern that maybe you know that it's all around us maybe you don't so that's why um i wanted to touch a bit the background the determination of it in the nature uh, and all around us basically so fractals it's a pattern, okay? It's a repeatable pattern. But it's not just a particular, it's not just a repeatable pattern, it's a repeatable pattern in which the same configuration occurs through the structure on a variety of different scales. I know that this sounds complicated, but I'm gonna explain a bit, okay? Let's break it down. First of all, think fractals like a geometrical shape, a shape, okay? A shape that is self-similar. What do I mean? It's a shape that you can see it as a whole, okay? But if you if you go to a smaller scale, you can see it, see the same shape again and again. So even that's why I've put broccoli on, okay? This broccoli. As I said, fractal is a geometrical shape, right? And you can see that broccoli has a particular shape. It looks like a triangle. But if you check every single piece of this broccoli, you can see that this tri triangle, this uh, this triangle, this shape, is repeated, but in smaller scales, right? So, an object is a fractal if the same patterns occurs at every size, and this is you can see this in broccoli as well. So, look at the triangle. 
It would take every piece of the triangle of the broccoli. Again, triangle. It would zoom in. Let's say on the very first triangle of the of this one. Again, it would zoom in more and more triangles and so on and so forth. So can combine fractals with harmonic price patterns. Of course, of course, this will give you just further confirmation, Brian. But I'm curious, why are you here? <laughs> You're not a beginner. <laughs> <laughs> so yes 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 i occasionally okay depends on the obviously depends on uh, on the asset on the time frame etc occasionally if i spot the harmonic price pattern i um use fractals either for identify the immediate support and resistance level or just for confirmation right yes of course you can that's the answer so so, 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 other than broccoli, we can see fractal patterns in nature, like in the growth of crystals, uh, the branching of twigs on trees, uh, the structure of snowflakes uh, in galaxy, the galaxy, right? So just remember that fractals are recursive, because no matter how complex the, complex the whole is, it is built from many repetitions of the same process of the same uh, uh, of the same um, shape. So, just to close a bit the background, um, remember that they are patterns, that they are self-similar, and in that, if you look at a smaller section of the pattern it is not different than a much larger scale section of the pattern or the whole so they are used by a scientist so to explain many many phenomena okay i know that this is a bit complicated but this is just to to, to be aware what they are and how they started how i mean they are based on the chaos theory, as I said. It's part of mathematics that explains this behavior. Um, and years after they have been discovered, we could see in scientists and more, more precisely mathematicians find out that um, that uh, they can be applied in the financial markets as well. Okay, and that was. Uh, that was um, a study, oops, sorry, I skipped a slide by mistake. Here we are. Here we are. So back in the, uh, in the 17th or 18th century, uh, <coughs> Benoit Mandelbord, uh, economist and a mathematician. He was uh, the. It's actually he's the the father of fractals. Okay, and in general, in general, the fractal geometry back in uh, 1975. So he was the one that uh, came up with this uh, with this um, uh, term, the term fractal. And um, He's well known uh, for developing the theory of roughness in nature and the fractal geometry. He was the one that worked uh, and uh, managed to apply fractals in many fields like uh, weather predictions, design, special effects, antennas, camouflage, solar power, medicine, and last but not least, he found out the applicability of fractals in the financial markets, which is what I'm going to discuss in this webinar today. So, you know, <clears throat> Why why we insist um, on providing some historical events is because, guys, this gives you a 
better understanding that this is not something this is not something new, something that has been tested again and again. Imagine that fractals, <laughs> okay, fractals have been identified, um, have been actually applied as a in the for the analysis of price for cotton more than a hundred years ago. So the analysis of the cotton for the period of more than a hundred years ago had led to the creation of this effective trade technique uh, mentioned in the well-known trading chaos book by Bill Williams and was rep represented um, that the markets um, uh, they might seem chaotic and they might present to be chaotic sometimes, but um, they are self-regulating systems. Uh, so yeah, according to that book, a hundred years ago, the fractal theory suggests this um, complexity in markets is built up from self-similar patterns of traders' behaviors. So it's the traders' behavior, the market participant behavior that is responsible for this self-similar pattern, the fract fractal nature of the markets. So many people believe that the markets are random, right? I've, I've heard this thousand times. However, guys, you should know that although prices may appear to be random, they do in fact follow a pattern, either in the form of a trend or in the form of a sideways move, or it, and etc. History repeats itself, so the same stands for markets. That's why one of the most basic ways uh, in which traders can determine such trend is through the use of fractals. So fractals essentially break down larger trends into extremely simple and predictable reversal patterns. So just to sum up a bit, um, I don't know how many agree with me, but do you agree that market patterns are continuously repeated on all scales what i mean i mean you you might spot um, a curve shape in the daily chart but if you zoom in in the 15 minute chart you might see the same curve shape or if you if you see a, a, a chart pattern uh, in the daily chart you zoom in and you spot repetition of that chart pattern i mean do you agree that indeed no it does not oh we have uh, no joseph says yes can you explain yourself vladislav okay i'm gonna show you since we have a no i'm gonna show you just so okay it's not ideal but uh not on five minutes is flat in one hour the five uh well, are you are, are you um, referring to particular asset right now? That you have observed that in the five minute there is a trend, but in the one hour is a flat. Let's see.
let's see what uh, so what we are trying to any cross with yen oh 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 oh, oh. i see so okay regarding yen regarding yen look at that okay okay this is i don't know how well this is uh, presented but this is a pound yen in one hour chart okay right so it, the, it's in a down channel right it's in a down channel since uh 26 of january right it's in a down channel. this is the one hour chart there was a resumption of the decline this morning okay and now i'm gonna go back to the five minute chart that you mentioned right there are some indeed a different trend but the pattern is a pattern what i mean if you have spotted right a rounding top you see this is looks okay it's not ideal but looks like a rounding top and um actually It's not precisely around the top but it's a mm, i'm just you see this shape how can i let me let me try to draw it properly okay we see this kind of shape over here in this latest leg right so if you go to the five minute chart right we're gonna see the same shape but in smaller scales so look at that ah, come on. i'm struggling with the uh, drawing one this is what i'm trying to say that you can see the same pattern but in different scales ah. another another so it is repeated there is a repetition that's the beauty of it and it's not uh one hour is flat no it's not flat it did found a bit of a support uh the last um 29 minutes but the trend is still uh a trend i mean that is lower low retesting the bottom of the channel we might see a bit of a correction but that's not the case for the time being and it keeps moving in a down channel since the beginning since 29th of, of january so um i don't agree with you regarding a flat one hour chart no it's not flat it has been to the downside consecutive lower High, lower uh, lows consecutive lower highs find a bit of a support uh, the last few minutes but that, that doesn't doesn't um, indicate anything it has been over oversold so we might see a bit a bit of a like um, a sideways movement or a bit of a recovery up to the mid of my line up to 186.95 because it is a bit oversold, but that doesn't change the fact that intraday is to the downside. So, yeah, we might see a bit of a correction, which is not a, which is something that hasn't been confirmed yet, right? And in the five minute, yeah, a bit of a correction. This is just a correction. The overall, look at that. We'll zoom out a bit, right? This consolidation. Um, uh, Vladislav, the fact that for one, two, three, four, five consecutive five minute minutes candle is flat. This is just an indication that it was oversold. Oversold, so it needs to correct a bit before another attempt to the upside, to the downside. Sorry. Um. So, yeah, it, it, momentum is negative stochastic already started fading to the downside yeah so i'm not quite sure i'm not quite sure uh whether uh, hopefully this helped you if not just ask me again what exactly you want me and want me to 
um, to check in order to help you. Okay. So let's get back to our slides until I have a, a, a more info uh, from Vladislav. So uh, yeah, G guys, let's get back to fractals. So this is how they look like. They use usually um, presented with an arrow, a top arrow and a bottom arrow. But how exactly this arrow is, uh, is uh, created? Basically, um, uh, basically, okay. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, due to the traders' behaviors, that they are the, the, the traders' behavior is a bit uh, repeated, right? Uh, it's uh, driven by emotions, by aspiration, by greatness, fear, hope, right? <coughs> also, we all of us have have um, uh, have um, not the same knowledge, but we have access to the same info. I mean, in the news regarding your political uh, news. Uh, politics, anything that uh, all these actually. Uh, also, we have the same access if we want to uh, to the same algorithm, robots, uh, expert advisors, etc. And that is um, very, very briefly what uh, what explains uh, the the fact that um, the, the 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 behavior traders' behavior is responsible for uh, the fact that market are uh, are are self repeated so so this is how uh, as i mentioned earlier how a fractal looks like okay with arrows arrow up arrow down in order for that arrow to be created there is a mathematical formula at the back right so the you don't need to know the mathematical formula and I'm not going to present it either. But you should know that a fractal will appear as soon as we have a, a candle pattern consistent by five or more candles. Okay. But with some criteria in order to, 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 to see that fractal, in order to this fractal candlestick pattern to be created, we need to see the so usually no usually actually it is it is uh, created in the mid of a five candles pattern so we have five candles and if there is a fractal nature then the middle one will present either an up arrow or a down arrow so an up arrow in the third, actually, is the third candle, right? One, two, ignore the first one. One, two, three, four, five. The middle one, which is the third in, in a row, is the one that you're going to see the uh, fractal. You're going to see an up fractal if and only if the two previous candles, so the first candle and the second card candle, are lower so their highs their tops is lower than the third candle and if the two following candles have a lower high than the third one so this is the only way that we're gonna see an up fractal being created if the third candle is, has the highest high of all and is in the middle. Is this clear? You can see how it looks like how it, so you, that's the only way that's the, how a, an up fractal is being created. If the third candle has a higher high than the two preceding candles and the two uh, following candles. The same stance for the uh, down fractal. So the down fractal, in order to be created, in order to have actually a down fractal, 
uh, it means that the two presetting candles had a higher low than the middle one and the the uh, uh, two following candles had a higher low than the middle one so we have a a, a down fractal which is a bullish formation which is a bullish it indicates that the as the 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 trend or the the the, the asset price will start moving to the upside so the down fractal is a bullish indicate it has a bullish indication while the up fractal has a bearish indication so that indicates that there is a sh possible shift from uh, an uptrend to a downtrend but 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 always remember that the fifth the final candle the fifth candle needs to be completed before you make any trading decisions so let's move on here are some examples uh, this I, I think that was a, a long-term one it was a weekly chart of dollar yen if i'm not no it wasn't yeah it was dollar yen if i'm not mistaken it was yeah I, th I think so i think so it's just just to demonstrate just for demonstrating purposes so the asset was in a downtrend right we keep having down fractals so that was there was a limited correction to the upside down fractal indicated a downshift indeed that happened uh posted two more down fractals correction and boom another down fractal a more aggressive one because you can see how far away it is from the previous three consecutive down fractals okay and that was as i mentioned the down fractal is an indication of a bullish uh, momentum of a potential reversal of the downtrend to the upside so as soon as you see something like that you need to write it down and start monitoring the asset regardless if you are in a five minute chart regardless if you are in one hour chart the monthly chart weekly chart and etc the, the the way to the way is the same for any time scale so okay this is was a long-term time scale but the, the way to use fractals is the same okay so down fractal there was there was a clear downtrend you can see that this is crystal clear downtrend with some corrections some uh, corrections but a clear downtrend consecutive lower lows consecutive lower uh, lower uh, highs clear downtrend so we have this massive sell-off with the two consecutive uh the, the two following bars uh posting a higher low and that's why this down fractal created so you uh, if you see something like that you need to put a note right and you need to find a, an appropriate resistance area which if it breaks it will confirm the reversal of the trend so for me over here nice resistance levels was this double bottom over here or quite higher here this the latest up fractal that was a nice resistance area which if breaks it could confirm that there is a shift of the downtrend to an uptrend which indeed this is what happened can you see that and it lasted for many 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 sessions and until actually nearly double more than double actually bridge 79 70 79 territory and eventually bridge 148 okay this this is a, a weekly or a monthly chart but it's the same mentality the same thinking for every scale okay but you see then it's not like if you miss something like that that you need to give up no you don't need to give up because the consecutive fractals could still 
give you indications about the future performance. What I, so what I mean? Okay, maybe let's uh, suggest that, uh, let's um, assume that you have missed this down fractal, this, the asset was already up, broken this resistance level, so, and you missed that, you missed this. It, that doesn't mean that you there are not there are no more uh, chances. There are because as you can see, we had consecutive fractals, up fractals, okay, higher and higher. So higher. Uh, uh, so yeah. So that suggested that there are still bulls jumping into the market and that suggests that this trend will last for longer right the only uh, uh, indication that we might have uh, run out of steam and that this trend might end it it was this aggressive sell-off however if you notice these kind of sell-offs indicate uh, to a, a possible short-term um, uh, positions against your existing one, right? While the fact that it didn't it didn't um, manage to come down at least halfway of this trend it was an indication that it was a short leave a short leave uh, sell off okay uh, yeah so in an up fractal like this one or this one or this one in general all these a nice support area that could confirm that indeed we have a reversal of the uptrend to the to downtrend will be either the previous up fractal or okay or the uh, the bottom of the five handles formation. So for example here down fractal since we had one two actually that was there as soon as you saw this sell-off and this sell-off the this latest up fract up fractal the breakout of this latest up fractal it was a very strong support area which if you saw it breaking you could take a sell position so put lines or put trigger points or put alerts on uh, previous key support and resistance levels uh, in order to um, have an automate, uh, you have your position automatically open or something because sometimes the sell off might be so sharp, so aggressive, so fast that you might miss uh, the chance to enter on time like what happened here, which you saw how big this candle is. Huge. So yeah, it's good to, uh, to have um, some alerts or pending positions or something based on the previous up or down fractals um, in order to uh, get the chance to have an appropriate um, entry. But yes, the previous fractals or uh, the previous uh, bottom of uh, of the of the candle uh, candle pattern. I mean, so here was either the this one, right, this one, or here. That was the best one because it was an area. You see, that was an area not only retested a few ses sessions ago but it used to be a nice resistance again here and here so that was a nice resistance area a support sorry support area that could be our entry point 
based on this latest up fractal that we got. So let's move on. Anything you need, I'm here to help. By the way, I cannot see any questions. So advantages and disadvantages of uh, of fractals. So. First of all, you should know that fractal indication indicator is not just um, that the, the the key advantage, of course, is that it offers uh, immediate support and resistance levels. So you can use, let's say, you can go downwards. So apply your fractals, check the daily chart in order to find the. Uh, the, the, um, the overall support and resistance level, then go down to the four mini, um, uh, hour chart to find out an, a more imminent intraday one, and then go to the one hour chart to find a, no, a more imminent one. So with this way, you can use these multi time frame fractals as um, eventually as uh, multiple support uh, target levels and multiple stop loss levels, right? So the very, very first and key uh, benefit is, of course, the, the simplicity in the viewing and digesting of charts, because without thinking a lot, you can use the fractals as your immediate support and resistance levels. So this is effortless, because if the fractal indicator is an indicator tool which is automatically updated. So without a lot of thinking, nothing, just use you can use the, the fractals just for your support and resistance levels. Simple as that. And the support and resistance level can also be used for filtering out a trade setup and for spotting major bounce or break spots. Right? The blue triangle. Sorry, let's get back. As, um, Audu is asking something. Let me get back to the, okay, the blue candle on the fractal you can see that the fifth candle ended the trend and we are supposed to enter at the close no 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 yes actually you're right on that that's why i mentioned earlier that ideally in order for an appropriate risk management appropriate appropriately uh timing um not only the entry but i mean not to miss out sometimes the sell-off might be so sharp that yes you're right the fifth candle indeed auto but that's a very good question auto mentioned but andrea the, the in this triangle the fifth candle that we were supposed to wait to be completed until the in order to take any trade decision it, it it already ended although if you ask me there was further steam to the downside so there was still an um further decline, but, 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 you're right on this question. So that's why, that's why I mentioned the pending orders or alerts, because sometimes due to the news, I think this, this happened uh, when the Bank of Japan intervened to the currency. That's why it was so sharp and uh, immediate and et cetera. Um, so yeah but don't forget this is a monthly chart so that candle might look huge but it it, it was a whole month okay so nevertheless you, something like that could be found in a 30 minutes chart in a 15 minutes chart in one hour chart that's why ideally you should have some pending orders or alerts in order to enter on time and soon that level breaks yes in order to um to to to, to, to identify uh, the most appropriate and, and, and uh, the most appropriate entry time because sometimes yes this might happen you are absolutely right um um so uh, pending orders or ideally alerts so an alert that could tell you, okay, as soon as the asset comes down to my previous up fractal 
please let me know. That will have saved you time, will have saved you, uh, not saved you, and actually you, you, have, or you, will, you will have benefit you significantly because this huge is huge. Can you introduce your course so we can know the particular areas your point on the, sorry. Please, can you introduce your cursor? The, yes. So where, I thought you could see, oh, you couldn't see my mouse all this time. Oh, thank you, John. I'm really sorry. I thought you could see at least the, 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 the mouse. I'm really sorry for that. Really sorry for that. No, you can't. Why? Yeah, I was um, I was replying to Jodo Aldo regarding this huge sell-off that we got here, and he his point was valid because he said, but the fifth candle, uh, the the fractal wasn't completed be because the fifth candle is this huge one that it was responsible for. Uh, it was the whole trend, basically. So, yeah. Pending orders, alerts. This will be key, Aldo. This will be key. Um, so, yeah, let's move on. If you have uh, any, if you have, don't have anything else to add. Yes, I was uh, going through the advantages. So, adding the stop loss, support levels, as I mentioned earlier, uh, alerts on this immediate support and resistance levels or even pending orders because um, because the, the third uh, uh, benefit for me is actually is as important as the first um, advantage so the third benefit is for trade entries and trade management because like the example that we saw earlier there was the, the the entry to have a the, the time of the entry is very very important right so yeah uh, putting down possible entry levels based on the fractals and possible stop loss levels or even pending orders uh, that will save you from time uh, it will give you also um the, the chance to enter on time, on time and exit on time. So the break of a fractal can be used, as I mentioned earlier, for potential entry setups. And as price breaks through so the support and resistance levels, you're gonna have a, 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 a trade open automatically if you're using pending orders. The second benefit is that uh, by connecting the fractals, you might be able to identify a trend. So this also helps to identify a, a trend. So by connecting the higher highs and lows or lower lows and highs, you can figure, it, figure out whether there is a trend. It is also possible to place a Fibonacci tool from a fractal to fractal, but make sure to see the presence of a trend or a momentum. So, uh, so just very, very quickly to, uh, this is how, what I mean by, so there was one fractal here, one fractal here. So by connecting two or more, ideally it will be three, but over here, yeah, by connecting at least two fractals, we could spot whether there is there was a trend or not. Right? And if you if I connected the lows as well, that would be that would have been crystal clear. Or by connecting the 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 fractals again, you can see that the markets are actually ranging, so it gives us a range. This is okay, you can say, but I don't need fractals for that. I can connect the highs of the candles and the lows of the candle. That's absolutely true, right? Same mentality, same thinking, same, 
Disadvantages though, nothing are, is ideal, right? Indicator is an indicator after all. Is more reliable in an in, in, in intraday time frame. So four hour chart, the one hour chart, 30 minutes chart, so intraday. Not however ideal for scalpers. Right, uh, because Vlas, uh, Vladislav asked for five minutes. So, not ideal. You can use it in one hour chart in order to find even 30 minutes chart just to find immediate support and resistance levels that could be useful in the five minutes chart. But okay, it depends on the it depends on the um, um, let me just depends on the asset, of course. I don't want to be um. Uh, just uh, conservative. Oops, sorry. Let me just apply my fractals on here. We are Bill Williams. Okay. So five minutes chart. So it depends on the fractal on the on the asset. But as you can see, nice support. This is a five minute chart on dollar yen. Support number one support number two or let's be precise because this is still running that's a more better one right so actually that's it here support number one support number two next target potential target this one right so you see it is it can be applied also in a, a shorter time frames but it depends on the asset. You need, you need to uh, check it a bit to see whether in the past it provided indeed uh, accurate signals. Uh, so you need to. I need to go back in the dollar yen five minute chart to see whether indeed it was helpful. So let's see here. So up, up, one, two. So over here that was already broken, and then the next possible entry was this one. Yeah, yeah. Quite nice actually for dollar yen apparently. Wasn't expecting that. Consecutive down fractals. So if I connect those, I had a trend. Nice. So you see the breakout of this trend created by fractals indicated the reversal to the upside. Let a bit to a da -da 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 -da. Okay, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Not bad, not great either, but it definitely provided some um, support and resistance levels, a trend indication, a sideways indication. You see that area, this, the fact that there was a consecutive up fractal, consecutive down fractal, imply that we are in a range. So a break of Either of, of any of these um, um, areas could trigger, the, could uh, indicate the direction. So that breakdown, um, that breakdown, uh, it was the, the, the confirmation for a, a decline, for, for an imminent decline in the five minutes chart with next support levels, target levels in this case, that one that one can you see oh it works quite good for dollar again in a five minute chart not bad not bad okay so uh, yeah 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 hmm. on volatility and trading range than on time frame yes i agree with you vladislav uh, i actually agree with you when we're saying uh, Kazin Barak, when we're saying broken fractals, we mean that the price extended above or below the previous fractals. Okay. So because uh, fractals uh, present support and resistance level, immediate support and resistance level, so that that's a broken support or resistance level. So that would be interesting. But as long as it keeps above this area eyes are on the upside on the next uh, resistance area at 147.40. Stochastics, in, 
immediate stochastic uh, keep rising. Okay. Very interesting. So, uh, just checking the one hour, ch the one minute chart, right sideways, sideways above that level. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> So uh, let's move on, disadvantages. Nothing is great, right? Obviously, obviously, uh, news and fundamentals have a significant impact on them, okay? Um, it's a lagging indicator, so best for confirming a move or a reversal and a potential entry. But always, always is preferable to be combined with other indicators for further confirmation because it just provides immediate support and resistance levels of possible entry levels. It doesn't is what um, it doesn't provide a momentum, right? So always combine it either. Um, with actually with anything you, you are you are you are using i mean uh, over here i have what i have we have, have bollingers um just bollingers okay and a, and, a, and a moving average but that was the very first sign regarding a, a reversal right one two so that along with the very test of this double fractal over here was the indication that okay we might have uh, a reversal in this one hour chart. Indeed, boom, extended break in this resistance. The fractal was confirmed. So uh, that was a confirmation that there will be um, an uptrend, which indeed, as you can see, it keeps moving higher. If we had already posted a, pre, um, a, a pending order on the previous support levels. So this one, the four, will, be, will have been able to open a, a, a long position exactly on time. If you missed that, that's fine because that lasted for longer actually. So, uh, ba -ba -bam. or you see rounding top, which is a bearish momentum, with double top, double fractals indicating that this is a key resistance area. A rounding top was uh, was created something that it's a bearish pattern until it broken here, here, and here we had the latest down fractal as well. So as soon as we saw the asset turning lower and lower and lower, right, we could have set. Uh, so it's somewhere here we could have said that okay if 140 30 or, or or at least this one 140 15 breaks open a short position so we will have to catch this short leave just two hours straight It might not be at the third hour, by connecting two or more fractals means that at the third fractal, we can make our trade, not necessarily the third, it might, it might last for longer, it might be quite fast. Um, it's just put your lines on as soon as you saw um, a confirmed fractal being created and set alerts or pending orders or whatever so you see here you could just prepare yourself because that bottom was retested twice okay um, and here actually now another so okay so there are many opportunities over here. Why? Other than the rounding top that I mentioned, okay? Let's assume that you have missed the rounding top, uh, the asset extended down, 
and this bullish candle came. But there was no fractal over here because it just it was just created. Okay, there was this bullish candle. So what you could do in this case is okay, say okay, the immediate support level is on my resistance level is on the previous fractals. So this area over here is also coinciding with the uh, moving average as well. So you could say okay, open a long position if and only if the asset comes above this area. So this area is around 140.35 with target the previous fractals, this area. And stop loss slightly below the lowest fractal or or you can use your Bollinger's as your stop loss in this case, or a trailing stop. Or you could have put a multi-target uh, position. So enter long at this area over here, and second target, right? Over here, the previous, previous up fractal. It's okay if you don't want to wait the fifth candle as long as you put some alert or pending orders at an appropriate support and resistance levels. Like we, we explained here. You see over here, there wasn't any fractal, there wasn't any indication that the fractal would be created. So it's okay. Set some conditions. Here, you've seen a sharp decline and suddenly you saw a bullish candle here right so you could put some pending order and say okay if the asset breaks this area why i'm pointing this area because this area is the 23.6 fibonacci level i have also two fractals very close to it and i have also a moving average so that's why it's ideal for a potential entry point. So you could say, okay, since I have this decisive bullish candle right, right here, um, set the pending order and say, if the asset breaks above, just put it slightly above the, um, above the moving average, 140.40, open a long position with initial target 140.85 and target 2, the previous uh, up fractal, which is at 141.45. Right? Hopefully that helps you out. That's why I said it needs to be combined with other indicators. With this way, you don't always have to wait for the fifth candle. If you have a strong indication that um, this is a key support or resistance area. But if it breaks, it would be a nice entry point. So these are some examples and the rules that you need to follow. The rules are simple. Okay, the rules are quite simple. The, the, um, you can use fractal indicators to determine the possible direction of the of the price, right? Um, also, as we keep, we mentioned several times, the um, the break of, of fractals can be used as a potential entry setup. So as soon as price breaks your initial support and resistance or resistance level. So in this case, it's a, it's a support level, which was identified earlier based on the fact that we had consecutive fractals over here. So fractals can be used for placing, uh, for, for potential entry, right? But also vice versa. Fractals can be used for placing stop loss because that was a nice entry point spotted well ahead by the way so you had plenty plenty of time in this example to set a pending order with this 
entry and stop loss of that resistance area. Double fractal over here and another one over here. So that area could be used as stop loss levels. So a long setup will have a stop loss below the fractal support, while a short uh, setup like this one will go with a stop loss above, above fractal resistance. The same logic can be applied for a trail stop loss. Uh, so yeah, you feel free to use trailing stop loss. Again, uh, the trailing stop loss to be here. So as as the asset uh, stays on the direction of your direction, I mean to the downside, it will lock profits automatically just to reduce the risk uh, and to lock profits, obviously. Um, so one way in which traders do this is by looking for broken fractals, uh, which indicates broken support and resistance levels, okay? Um, that's pretty much it. So have you seen exit levels? Exit level was as soon as we saw a sign of reversal. Because you see, I keep had over here, lower fractal, lower fractal, and then a very decisive bullish candle with a no tail. That was a possible entry level, but keep in mind that trailing stop loss saves you uh, a lot of time and effort. Uh, so far can be used for reversal entry in the end of the... Yes, 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 yes. Absolutely. Um... Ideally, um, okay, if you had applied Fibonacci over here, from here until the bottom of the channel, you will have fixed targets. So, anyway, your position will have close automatically. So, that's another way. In order not to be on your screens all the time and worrying whether oh is it time to exit is it not is it time to exit? no predetermined fixed targets uh, are more appropriate with this way if you weren't on your pcs the time that this happened um, then you had had probably already closed the position um 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 and lock locking and profits as well and um, anyway if you had trailing stop in this case then this will have uh, closed uh, already um here or here so you will you will have already locked all these profits another Example, long entry, up fractals, up fractals, down fractals, down fractals. So what's going on here? We try to find the immediate resistance and support level, setting some pending orders in case that either the support, either the resistance breaks. In this case, the resistance broke, right? And it was um, a very, a very interesting one because we had a confirmation from Bollinger Bands and from moving average as well. So you see, for the first time uh, since, uh, yeah, for, for the first time during this um, the last one two two days, the last two days in this ranging market, uh, we had seen eventually the asset closing uh, above the the 20 day moving average 20 period moving average sorry and retesting the 50 period moving average so yeah uh, a pending order either here on the latest up fractal or on this fractal 
would that uh, uh, be appropriate for a long position with exit level uh, either that one or that one? Or trailing stop loss just to uh, manage to lock as much profit as you can. So that was pretty much it, guys. I'm going to call it a day. There are more examples. Please, please, please don't consider or don't take any uh, decision if you see on if you see on the same candle two fractals because this suggests indecision in the market so that's a not a good sign that's not a clear sign it just implies that there is a lot of indecision uncertainty okay so uh, such uh, such uh, fractals uh, shouldn't be considered for taking any uh, trading decision. So that was pretty much it. Uh, I'm going to call it a date with the words from a great trader, a great, the greatest trader of all times, actually, Jesse Livermore, um, that uh, he correctly, absolutely correct. Uh, he well said actually uh, mentioned that there is nothing new in the markets okay he, he clarified wall street but this is for the whole market there is nothing new there can be because speculations is as old as the hills so market traders behavior basically whatever happens in the stock market today has happened before and will happen again this is a nice statement indicating the, uh, that the market repeats itself. Oh, uh, Roderto, Rodero, sorry, Mario. Uh, guess question about the last webinar auto chart is: Is the service free after the first month demo? If I'm not mistaken, it's it's free. Uh, for, for, uh, I'm not sure, but. Uh, in, uh, as far as I am aware, is free uh, forever as long as uh, your capital doesn't fall under a particular um, number. I mean, but it's a low, it's a low capital, quite low. So as lo as long as long as you have a specific amount in your account, and it doesn't fall below that level. Uh, it's always for free. I mean, we don't charge it. Um, uh, hopefully, let me just open the terms of conditions, double check. But uh, yeah, this is this was uh, this is what I, I, I'm not aware why you mentioned first month only. Uh, um, yeah, yes, yes, yes. So it's not just one month, uh, my dear. Uh, uh, Rotero, it's it's free anyway. It's free anyway, but you need to make sure that your combined balance, okay, uh, uh, bonus are excluded, of course. Your combined balance it's equal or exceed a partic exceed uh, a particular amount, a small amount. Okay, I cannot say the amount because I don't know. Uh, where you are, where where you. Which country you are, and etc. Where where country you're resident, etc. So there may be a small deviation between uh, each uh, regulation. Uh, but yes, it's, it's just, as long as you keep a particular um, amount uh, that it doesn't fall under a particular uh, your account doesn't fall under your um, balance doesn't fall under a particular uh, amount, but uh, yeah, it's not chargeable. No, it's not chargeable. So, uh, unless if you are referring to the demo account, we have a restriction in demo to be for 30 days, uh, but, but it's still not charged. It's just we have a limitation for a demo trial to be valid for 30 days. 
that is uh, what I thought as I did not see any fee in the condition. Yeah, there no fee, there's no fee. That's why I'm trying to, um, I keep saying guys that there are these tools, they are for free, use them. They might help you. I think they will definitely help you, but I know that a lot of people are skeptical about it, but they are free, yes. Premium tools is for free. Advanced Insights is for free. Auto charts is for free. It might help you form a lot of hassle. Okay, I'm gonna call it a day. Thank you very much for attending uh, and hope to see you soon at tomorrow with a live streaming ahead of the FOMC decision uh, and also Bank of England tomorrow as well, NFP week. So we're gonna have two lives this week. One tomorrow, it will be me. And on Friday, my colleague Mihalis uh, will present the NFP analysis. Okay. Thank you very much. Have a great day ahead and see you again tomorrow. Bye bye.